Hi, this is Shane from Arcade, and today we're building a 12-pound rooster. And uh, we've just gotten through installing the drum, installing the brackets, lining everything up. Um, we've tested, the, we've installed the motor base plate, the motor mount, and we've ensured that everything rotates nice and smoothly. Now we're going to get on to the electrical part. This is the part that intimidates a lot of people, but honestly, it's quite easy. Uh, it's really very easy on our website. We have an illustrated wiring guide, which has it broken down very visually and very simple. And if you go have a look at that, I promise it'll be very easy. We're going to make this as easy as possible, and I'm going to walk you through how to do it. Um, I've actually pulled up the wiring guide on my phone here. And I don't know if that's easy for you to see, but if you can look on that, you can see just how nice and laid out this is. You can see clearly where every wire goes. Um, check out the website for that. I'm going to use this just as a quick guide because I don't do this every day and uh, it's uh, just easy to reference. So I'm going to start with my switch box in the kit here. It has, this box has these things called knockouts and I'm going to knock one of these out but I want to go over the other parts too. This is our two black motor wires. We're going to use those in a minute. We and then the last part is we have a three-prong power cord. We have a ground and uh, two other live and return wires. And then it's just a standard three-prong power cord that comes in our kit. So with these, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to push all of our wires, that's these five wires, through this one knockout in our switch. All right, and they're going to pass all through here, and we're going to point that hole here towards the motor. So I'm going to get started by knocking this out. So I'm just going to take any screwdriver or hard object and just kind of hammer on it. You can then take this piece and you can bend it back with your fingers. You know, if it's easier to grab a pair of pliers like this and just grab it and wiggle it back and forth, that's easy too. And it just comes out. And now you have a hole. Very easy to do. So with that, what I'm now going to do is, this is another part in our kit. This is called a cable retainer. I'm going to pass all my wires through this. I do need to live, give myself a little bit of room to work with, so I'm gonna get my screwdriver out here and I'm going to expand this out a little bit to give myself room to pass my cables through this clamp here. I'll try and give you a better picture of that. So all of our wires are gonna pass straight through this. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this spinning piece off, and it comes off. I'm going to put it down, and I'm going to now insert this in with my screws pointed up towards the top of the box. And then I'm going to take this ring and just screw it back on here on the inside. And I'm just going to tighten it down finger tight. If you want, you can put your screwdriver on it just to kind of push it down a little bit tighter. And there we go. All right. So... Now I want all my wires to pass through that clamp. So I'm going to go through into the box and pull them through just like that. I'm going to get my power cord, which is right here, and I'm going to push that one through too. So I'm just going to get all three of my wires. Let me see if I can get you better light. Three of my wires here, and I'm going to drive those down and just thread that in as well. So now I have all of my wires coming out of the box, and it's not bolted down yet. At this point, what I want to do is I'm going to go fire, follow my guide. Now I have, I have an electrical switch here. With this electrical switch, we have an on and an off. This is just a standard household light switch. So we have two pins here, and we have the green ground pin here. All right, so... We're going to go ahead and put this in. So that will be the off position. It says off, and that says on. Flip it up to turn it on, flip it off to turn it off. Now, this green wire from the power cord simply goes underneath of the green screw. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down with my screwdriver. And I just want to pin that wire underneath the green screw. If you put it on this left side of the screw, when you turn it, it'll kind of pull the cable around. If you put it on the other side, though, of the screw, the, the, it'll tend to kind of push it out. That's not the easiest that way. So 
always go on the left side of the screw that winds up better. All right, the next thing I'm going to do, all right, got, we got one down. Now, my white cable is going to connect to one of my two black motor wires. It does not matter which. You can pick one or the other. It doesn't matter. So grab one of these wires with the white from the power cord. Take your wire nut and screw them together. You can actually twist these together just like that. And then you're going to just twist this on until it gets nice and snug. Okay. Now, your other black motor, the other black, this is the black power cord wire. This is the other black motor wire. The other black motor wire goes to the one of the pins on the power switch. It doesn't matter which. And I'm going to put this on the tightening side so that when I as I tighten it, it'll kind of pull that screw. pull that wire in, up under the screw. Okay. And now the black wire from the power cord is going to go underneath. Make sure, by the way, make sure when you're doing this that you've unplugged your, your power cords from the wall. Don't, don't have these plugged in. I hope that's obvious. And then we're going to tighten down this other one. Now if you get this wrong, the worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to blow a circuit breaker in the house in your building but that's it that's all you that's all we're doing here now at this point before we get any further we do want to test this and make sure it works so we don't uh, you know, have to bundle it all up and then decide that we did it wrong so I'm gonna go ahead and get my power cord over here and if we did this right we should see our motor running If we did it wrong, you might blow a circuit breaker. But if you did it just like that, you should be just fine. And there it is, it's running. And I turn it off, turn it on. Very good, there we go. Now, let's finish this up. Let's go ahead and unplug things. Don't want to risk getting a shock. But I'm going to go ahead and pull these wires down into. A little bit well actually before I do that let's go ahead and screw this box down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two screws here and I'm going to put them into, into this right here you'll find that it lines up with the plate so I'm going to go ahead and put my screws in the holes so I'm going to go through the, this box you see how they come out the end you basically have two and they're gonna thread up with these holes. So I'll go ahead and I think I'm gonna use my drill for this one. put this other screw in and we'll come back to you guys on the video in just a minute as soon as I get these in. All right, so this is how we're going to put the screw in. And let's see here. Just like that. And All right, there's one. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in the second screw. All right, and so now we've got our switch box in nice and tight. And so at this point, I'm going to come around here, change angles, and I'm going to just button this all down. So I'm going to position this screw here, I'm going to get it going with my fingers, and then the one here on the back with my fingers, and then I'll use my drill, and we're going to drive this down. There we go. 
we did that right, and then we should have our switch box lined up. And then we'll just drive this down here. And you'll have to do the second one up here like that. And now at the very end, if you come around back here, we're gonna put, we're gonna push as much of these wires as we can of these motor wires into the box. I don't want all this excess wire just hanging out. I'm gonna push all this up in here, get it into the box, and keep things nice as nice and tidy. much of it as you can in there. There we go. And you can zip tie some of this up if you'd like. And that's good. Now once you get once you've got it done then just tighten this down. And this will clamp. The wires into place. There you go and that's what it looks like. So now we have this, we have our power cord in. At this point, we are ready to go, I think. Oh, we can't, we gotta put the fan on. Put the fan at the very end. Come show you how to do that real quick. This just simply slides in on the end of the shaft. I recommend waiting to the very end to put this on and just push it on with your thumb. There we go. That kind of spins and keeps this motor cool. So at this point, we are done with our conventional rooster build. You might want to put a little bit of oil on these bearings as you break things in. Um, but we'll do a quick test here. Make sure everything works. Flip the switch. There we go. So we've got a nice smooth action over here. Nice smooth action over here. Drum rotates nice and smooth with nothing, nothing hitting. And so at this point, we're ready to do a run-up test and uh, fire. Now, what we do recommend is that you put in the uh, thermometer. So we're going to cover the thermometer next. <laughs> 